been about 16. Wrestling some pimply kid in the back of his daddy's wagon. Wondering if you were gonna give it to him or not. Hey, that's enough. He's sweet on you. Makes him brave. What was your association with Detective John Raglan? Raglan, 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 Raglan. Thirsty cop, right? Couldn't pick a winner to save his life. Well, Detective, our association, as you put it, exceeded the statute of limitations many moons ago. There is no statute of limitations on murder, Mr. Simmons. And here begins what is known as the initial confrontation. During this phase of the interrogation, the interrogator may invade the suspect's personal space in order to increase his discomfort. You want to invade my personal space. Look at me. Twelve years ago, Joanna Beckett led a big Take Back the Neighborhood campaign in Washington Heights. That must have pissed you off. And this would be theme development, presenting the crime through the eyes of the suspect. Joanna Beckett was murdered, along with two of her colleagues. They were professional hits carried out on your orders, and you had your pet homicide detective, John Raglan, bury them. Look at her face. Tell me you don't remember her. You know, Detective Beckett, I think I do remember her. Bled out in an alley like a trash she was. Mr. Simmons, you better watch. Rich bitch from uptown on safari in the heights. Somebody should have warned her not to feed or tease the animals. If they had, she might not have gotten eaten. From what I hear, though, <laughs> she was pretty taste. Oh, Becky! Back off, Castle! Remember your old life, Vulcan. Savor it. Because I'm gonna take it all away. <laughs> Stand down. Becky doesn't Stand down. <laughs> Javi, I'm fine. You're not fine. You're just trying to act like you are. This is just a tool. It's a hunk of steel. It has no magical powers, and the person that fired it is not some all-powerful god. It's just a guy with a gun. Just like the guy we're hunting now. And like every other bad guy, he's damaged goods. So am I. That's right. And that's okay. You think it's a weakness? Make it a strength. It's a part of you. So use it.
I have the file. Smith had another copy. Zero eight six seven two two four one. That's the number of the bank account where you deposited the money orders. So you're right. It is about who holds the power. Now, I could release that file and destroy you, but what would that mean for my life expectancy? So here's how it is. The deal that you had with Smith, that's our deal now. And if anything happens to me or anyone that I care about, that file goes public. Am I clear? That's a yes or no question. Yes. And one more thing. Whoever it is you think I am, whatever it is you think you know about me, you have no idea what I'm capable of or how far I will go. I am done being afraid. It's your turn now. That's going to leave a nasty scar. Every time you see it, think of me. Hard to miss the irony of this situation. Senator Bracken, do you have any enemies? Is there anyone that you can think of that would like to kill you? I get threatening letters and emails all the time comes with the office. My chief of staff keeps the file. Anyone with a legitimate claim? Glenn doesn't get to my position without upsetting people along the way. Most of them aren't crazy enough to want to try to kill me. <laughs> Present company excluded. You know, Senator, I'm not the one that you should be worried about right now. It's just us here, Detective. A shooter on the loose. Me in the crosshairs. Must be a dream come true for you. In my dreams, I'm the one that gets to pull the trigger. But you know what? If you're not comfortable with me leading this investigation, you're welcome to step outside and tell everyone why. Well, then I guess we're stuck with each other. So then let me make one thing clear. This man killed Melanie Rogers, and when someone commits murder, whoever he is, Senator, I will bring him to justice, no matter how long it takes. The man killed my son. No one cared. I care. He needs to pay. Not with a bomb, Robert. You and me, we're not like him. We don't hurt innocent people. You're trying to confuse me. <laughs> trying to trick me. You're saying something I shouldn't. I'm trying to take down Brack and same as you. And we gotta do it in the right way. You and me are on the same side, Robert. You're on his side. He controls everybody. You're all in his pocket. Every last one of you! No, I'm not. I'm just like you, Robert. She's losing him. You're not like me. You're making stuff up, making up stories. If you went through what I went through, you would want to see him dead. Everything that I told you was true. Robert, look at me. Where is the C4? If that thing goes off, then there's blood on our hands, and I cannot live with that, and I know that you can't either. You saved my life. Yeah, we can't win them all, can you? I suppose this means I'm in your debt. Nothing's changed between us, Senator. Even so. It's a dangerous world out there, Detective. You never know when you might need a friend. Now Bracken's a folk hero. 
The rare politician willing to stand up to special interests and fight for what's right, even if it costs him his life. You're right, that's a better story. The kind of story that could make a guy president. He'll slip up eventually, and when he does, I'll be ready. You know, I had you made from the moment you walked through the door. I could see it in your eyes. I thought, no way this woman is a killer. No. What? You want to kill me harder than you don't know a cop? Yeah, I've killed cops before. In fact, a few of them are your new neighbors. My people will hunt you down. They will kill you. But we can make a deal. You help me take down Lazarus, you can set any deal you want. No, I'm good with the deal I got. Thank you. Simmons funding his campaign with dirty money, killing whoever gets in his way, just like he did with my mom. It's him. And we have no way of proving it. 